Hi guys, this is Bible Girl, and this is a video response to Fact versus Religions, a metaphor. Um, to be honest, I haven't really planned what I'm going to say very much, so I'm just going with it. Um, you were talking about how God is like, the concept of a soul is, isn't true, and that human life is like a candle, and Mitch, you did a a lovely job with your metaphor, even if I don't agree with it, and the idea that the life eventually goes out and there's nothing left. And I think it's a sad idea, and I know you said that it doesn't lessen your life if it doesn't go on, and I agree, but I still find it sad. And, um, there's a quote, I did pre-plan this, that um, is in Chronicles of Narnia, the um, Chronicles of Narnia, the Silver Chair, which is farther on, and in the Silver Chair, Jill and Eustace, which are the children from our world in that book, they end up underground, and in the witch's castle, underground, and the witches trick them like putting spells to make them think that they never were in Narnia, that there never was anything like the sun or the moon or stars or Aslan himself. I mean, she's doing the spell, but they make a beautiful, um, a different character in the book makes a beautiful point, and I agree with it. We're here, and I wanted to, to share it. One word. All you've been saying is quite right. Then put the best face I can on it. I won't deny any of what you said, but there's one more thing to be said even so. Suppose we have only dreamed or made up all those things. Trees and grass and sun and moon and stars and Aslan himself. Suppose we have. Then all I can say is that in this case, the made up things seem a good deal more important than the real ones. Suppose this black pit of a kingdom of yours is the only real world. Well, it makes a, it strikes me as a pretty poor one. And that's the funny thing when you come to it. Or just babies making up a game, if you're right. But four babies playing a game can make a play world which looks your real world hollow. That's why I'm going to stand by the play world. I'm on Aslan's side, even if there isn't any Aslan to lead it. I'm going to live like a Narnian as I can, even if there isn't a Narnia. And I'm dot dot dot. I should think, but it's a small loss if the world is as dull a place as you say. You see, I'm a person that doesn't want to believe that this world is it, because I hate this world. <laughs> I mean, I want the best for it, and that's why I think religion's good. Because maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I will die, and I'll go nowhere. But my belief system, my belief in Jesus Christ, it pushes me to make this world better. Because I believe there's something far beyond it, and that this world originally was something much more extraordinary. So I will work my entire life trying to make children's lives better, trying to make sure our world's a cleaner place, a happier place, a safer place, and if there is no Jesus, then I've done good anyways. We actually, I had this discussion with my friends at Bible study two weeks ago, and everyone was saying, if there isn't a God, are we going to be happy with what we've done? And yeah, we are because we're going out and helping people, feeding the homeless, <laughs> clothing the needy, hanging out with kids, going through a lot of crap at school, showing love. And if it's wrong, I don't care. I don't care if my candle blows out. I happen to believe it's not wrong on a good deal of evidence how accurate the New Testament is, I think there's an opportunity that it's true. 
my professor said, I go to Bible college, so whatever, um, that it's a really foolish concept to look at a text with presuppositions. And a lot of people go into the Bible assuming that miracles can't happen when the New Testament's the mo one of the most accurate books we have in the time period. And I mean, I know I have presuppositions in it too, but it's an interesting idea, an interesting point. Um, if you want to ask me more questions, I want a dialogue. That would be cool. If anyone else wants a dialogue, I can talk about the New Testament. I know some really cool info about the New Testament. Old Testament is pretty accurate too, but the fact that Jesus, who I believe is God, the New Testament cooperates that, says that that's the Bible, I think that is strong evidence. Okay, thank you for listening, and I think I'll check out some more stuff on your page, and you're welcome to check out some of mine. I'll see you guys. God bless.